places the National Exhibition Centre. The date is May 2010. This is a contest to rival Ali against Frazier Barca play in Real Madrid, England versus Australia for the Ashes. This contest is between HP and Kodak for the High Speed Inkjet Printing Championship of IPEX. In one corner is HP's T3 London, a 30 inch wide web rest now in operation at half a dozen sites around the world. In the other is the Kodak Prosper 5000 XL. The Prosper on the standard IPEX will be shipped to Italy after the show to be Europe's first. Both presses are fast and according to their camps offer high quality. These might be the first digital presses to really take on offset litho printing. The first European T300 user is CPI Fermendido in France where it was recently introduced to book publishers, other printers and the press. CPI reckons that this is a game changer because the T300 setup can print 3,000 copies of a book, collate and bind it at a competitive unit cost per copy. At a stroke, publishers can order exactly the numbers they want and will no longer have to over-order to get the price down and then end up with 30% more books than can be sold. Consequently, CPI's machine, the first of five it plans to buy, is configured as a black-only press. The slots for colour print are left vacant. Other T300 presses are printing personalised transactional and direct mail, though not yet high-quality colour. Testing for brochure and magazine-type work is starting this year. This is where Kodak sees Prosper prospering. Although printing only two pages across, it runs faster, so has a similar net output. But the question is, can Prosper deliver the offset quality class versatility and price that Kodak CEO Antonio Perez has promised. It is using stream printheads, a technology that is unique to Kodak but built on many years experience in continuous inkjet with Versamark. The paper path appears simpler than the HP with intermediate drying after each printing station. The clincher though is that Kodak is saying that Prosper will print on normal coated offset papers after some kind of pre-coating of course. It can take on work designed for offset printing. If this proves to be the case, it might become the significant advantage that Kodak needs to win over offset printers. Both camps have much to prove first. Reliability, cost of consumables and workflow need proving before the success of these developments can be taken as read. HP's modular blade server technology is used both for the IT side and informing the way that heads can be snapped in and out when they fail. Kodak has the experience of thousands of Versamark print units in operation and bags of colour experience to call on. Which will emerge on top. This contest is going to run and run. Neither should be complacent. Xerox, Rico, and the combined might of Canon Osei will stop this remaining a two-horse race. Mm -hmm.